Once you've limited your results, you can click on the title of anything that you want to look at. You'll notice here's the title across the top. Above the title, you have options for cite, send to, download, print, get link, and highlights and add notes. If you click on cite, it will give you options for how to cite things, MLA 8th edition, APA 6th edition, or Chicago 17th edition. You can copy, highlight this, copy it, and then paste it onto the references section of your Word document, and you'll have your citation mostly done. I will suggest, though, that you check with whatever research item that your instructor wants you to use, whether that's Purdue OWL or your textbook, just to confirm that this is properly cited. Back at the article, there's this line across the top and underneath. It gives you the option to translate, to change the font size, to listen to the um, that to Gail read the article to you. You can save to Drive or save to OneDrive or email it to yourself or download. If you're going to email it to yourself, I would definitely use this link because if you come up to the address bar and copy and paste this, it's time stamped. So in about 20 minutes, it's not going to work anymore. So if you're going to email this, go ahead and use that email button there. There's the entire article. If there are any charts or graphs, they'll be down here at the end. There don't seem to be anything here. And then if you want to explore more, you can explore more things on this side over here. Thank you for watching.